What up, players? It's Wallboss Tab in this mud. Today we're gonna finish the Chosen with the Lightning Claws. So, um, I take you through it in the video, but there are some things that after I filmed the video, while I was doing the base, I actually went back and fixed up and added to. So, I got a little Tamiya Clear Red, our good old X27, and I painted this demon's tongue in red on the shoulder. I also painted Bugman's Glow into some of the Freddy Krueger like sores all over the chest or the shoulder pads and I, I painted over the black. And then just to add a little bit of disgusting uh, Freddy Kruegerness to it. Carabird Crimson. You can see it in there. Back here. There. Other than that, we highlighted up the armor again, as you can see. All the edges are nice, bright pink again. And yeah, that's about it. So, thanks for watching. Comments, criticisms, always welcome. Let me know what you think, and we'll see you in the next one. What up, players? It's Wobos Tay, and um, we're painting our step three of our Empress Children. Something that I did just now that you didn't get to see was I painted the belt buckle in Balthazar Gold. I thought the pink was a little too bright. And while we're waiting for that to dry, I got my Auric Armor Gold, which is this bright, blingin'-y, burnished gold. And I painted the little teeth down here, the little teeth down here, little teeth on the armor, and we'll paint the skull on the back as well. Um, Balthazar Gold is very much like the old dwarf bronze, so when you highlight it with this Auric Armor Gold, it looks much more like Super Bling Gold. But if you started with Auric Armor Gold, it's so thin as a paint that um, I've noticed it doesn't spread very well. You need a base color there already. Balthazar Gold is perfect for that. Okay, next we are going to use, we're gonna do the same thing with, if you can find it, Rune Fang Steel. It's the equivalent of my Thrill Silver in this new range. These layer metallics, they're, um, they're so thin and they separate really easily, like I said, so you really need to shake it up. A little bit on your brush. And we're only gonna be hitting the edges. Create the illusion of light. Bouncing off of the metal. I love Lead Belcher as a color. That old dirty gunmetal silver, you know, bolt gun, bolt gun metal was a great, great color. It still is if you can get it, if you still have it in your collection. And lead belcher is a, it's a good substitute. No, I don't want to say substitute. It's a good replacement color. Because if you've got the bolt gun silver, bolt gun metal paint from the old range, you should keep it. Keep it forever. Great thing about the Emperor's Children is Slanesh cares very much about appearances. So you're not going to see any rust, any verdigree. Everything is always looking good. Boy, I've been doing a lot of research on my on my legions, reading the Lexicanum, the um, 
even the 4chan. 4chan has a great section on all things Warhammer. You guys should check it out. It's definitely for the more mature audiences. But it's very, very funny. They have all sorts of crazy stuff in there, like about Doom Rider, all about the, the fluff, the old fluff, the new fluff. Really funny stuff. Okay, we're gonna work back up. Use a little bit of Emperor's Children to bring back the highlights on the armor. We'll do this, we'll finish this up, then we'll uh... work on the lightning claws, I think. We're almost done with this model, we should be done with this video. Oh yeah, I'm so sorry about... I didn't realize it until I was looking at the last video uploading that it's like almost an hour long. It's crazy. It's almost the length of like, you know, a podcast show or something. So I apologize for anybody who trying to sit through it. Especially if you don't paint Emperor's Children, there's it's not much reason to have my videos playing, unless you have it playing in the background, which... Okay, that is cool. I think that's cool. If you play my videos in the background, thank you. Alright, so again, I'm highlighting, especially with power armor, you want to stick to the edges, like here with the, the boots of the power armor. I'm sticking to where the light would normally reflect off. Like here on the main curve of the front. You just trace your way around. See that? Maybe a little bit too bright for there. So we'll pop down. I'm using just an alternating mix of, or an alternating uh, palette of Pink Horror and Emperor's Children to build the pink color back up. Just so it's not so, so red. Stick to the outside edges, work our way around. Thanks to the wash, there's really not too much we need to do. Just highlight back up towards the centers and should be good to go. The amount of highlighting you do really just depends on how how much differentiation you want. I think this is a pretty pretty good level right there. The gold belt buckle should be done, so I'm gonna paint some auric gold to highlight it. Just like everywhere else, we attack the raised areas first. So the brow, the ridge, the cheekbones, the fangs, such fantastic models. I see them going on eBay for, you know, a whole 
range of prices. The cultists seem to be selling really well on eBay, which is pretty, pretty cool. Not surprising considering the fact that Games Workshop doesn't have a kit for them. So you really have to rely on other ways of getting getting your Dark Vengeance cultists. Rackard Flesh for the head. I read in a short story that Emperor's children wear very garish, bright pink armor, but then their skin underneath is pallid, pale white. So, paint this. It's really cool, it said that uh, the skin was pallid white, full of piercings. The eyes were so dilated and dead. Oh, creepy. Alright, we're gonna use Cadian Flesh Tone for the shoulder pad. Make sure we're in focus there. It's very much like uh, if you've got Fabius Bile. in your army. He wears that that coat of of flayed skin. And this weird growth on his shoulder pad, this little horn thing, these horns, I'm just going to paint them in Cadian Flesh Tone for now and we'll decorate with the, uh, with the bone colors later. Alright, now let's go to the, the side with the demon head on it. Ooh, you might notice I'm making little tiny mistakes left and right, but I'm just going to keep on trucking.
Okay, let's work on the power claws while we're waiting. We're gonna use Temple Guard Blue. We're gonna start at the tip and let me show you what we're gonna do. Work our way up the tip all the way to maybe like three fourths. And I decided like, how am I gonna justify these weird twisty lightning claws that came in my, my broken set of Dark Vengeance? And the only thing I can think of is that uh, they are like kind of like tentacles so they're lightning charged, alive tentacles that are attached to this guy's glove. And that's why they waver around so much. So you're covering like 75% of the, the lightning claw and leaving the rest. We're also going to take our Temple Guard Blue and we're going to highlight up the edges of this guy's cloth tabard. Something like that. Okay, the next step up we're going is Techless Blue. Actually, no, let's do Lothurn Blue instead. This looks more like a Ice Blue. So now we're going about 25% up the claws. 25 to 50. Now, Pallid Witch Flesh. Actually, let's use Othuan Grey instead of Pallid Witch Flesh. Pallid Witch Flesh has a little bit of cream beige color to it. So for this, okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take off a lot of the paint of your brush that you've only got a little bit and you're going to carefully line down the center of each lightning claw. From the back. This might take you some practice to do if you've never done any of this kind of edge highlighting before. But basically you're taking the paint that's on your brush and you're very lightly guiding it so that it goes onto a straight edge, in this case, the back of the lightning claw. Okay, 
And you see how the Oakland Gray very, very subtly kind of changes the color, color composition there of the lightning claws. But bless you! That is what we want. Bless you! So now we're going to take some more Othuan Gray. We're going to do the same thing to the fronts. Just like that. And for the ones in the front, these two four-finger lightning claws, we're going to trace down the center of the lightning claw. So it looks like that. And then we're going to blend in this Othuan Gray to like the top five to ten percent of the claw. So you get a little bit of a white tip on every single uh, talon. Make sure you do both sides, flip it over and get the other side once you're done. Now we're gonna make our lightning claws crackle with energy so Take the best white paint you have, I would suggest either Ceramite White or White Scar. Ceramite White being the base, so it'll be a little bit thicker. And what you're going to do is take a little bit of that paint, lift the rest off onto your napkin or wet palette. Then you're going to make little jagged lines. Random zigzag lines. The smaller they are, the less paint you have on your brush, the better. The more squiggly and random you can make them, the designs, the better. They don't always have to start from the back too, they could start from the middle, from 75% mark. They could start from either side, the outside or the inner part, as long as it looks suitably random. So uh, the war cry of the Emperor's children, fun fact, is for the Emperor, which is funny because that's what the good guys shout when they go into battle. So there's a lot of speculation on 
whether or not they still say that in battle and why. And a lot of people say, oh yeah, they still use it because it's like to mock the emperor and the good guys. So they say, for the emperor, like saying, look what you have made us, look what we have become because of you. Stuff like that. If you want what I'm doing, you can see that I'm strengthening the Othuan gray highlights by adding just a little bit to each fine edge. There we go. Done. Alright, next we're gonna give our little demon guy some teeth. So we're gonna use both the one gray. Whatever, uh, whatever teeth you can find there. And then, um, I'll highlight that with a little pallid witch flesh. some Raiklin flesh shade on the shoulder pads. See how it um, goes into all the corners, like down here. Non oil for the teeth. for the head.
Okay, and um, hmm. here we're just about done. We're gonna take palette witch flesh, and I highlighted up the bone hanging out from from his chest by just going down the front. I'll show you what I did. Down the center, hitting these edges, and then hitting a little knob up here. You're also going to use this to highlight the tips of the bony protrusions coming out of the Space Marine leg armor. one gray. Paint a little dab inside. Horizontal. When doing eyes, always go horizontally. So go like that. Then I'm going to take the black one more time. vertical slash. Straight up and down. use your black to um, line the teeth. Sometimes I like to do that if it looks like the teeth are too uh, close together. Like in this case. It's a much needed definition that the known oil doesn't do. Okay, so there you have it, players. I think I'm done. I'm going to do the base, but that is about it. I think if there's anything else left I could do, um, let's do a little Raeglin flesh shade onto the head. Really thin down with water because we're also going to thin down some a Drukai violet and mix that in to make it look very sickly uh, almost like if you remember our um, dark Eldar paint scheme watching everybody. We'll see you in the next video.